Okay, see the froggy? Just chilling. Oh, he doesn't even care about this. It's like he's fake almost. Look at that. Huh. He just didn't care. Well, good morning, y'all. So today, I'm gonna try to catch some bluegill and do a little bit of a catch and cook. I went fishing yesterday, oh, probably three or four hours. I hit three different spots, had absolutely zero luck. I got kicked out of one spot. And so I'm gonna try something a little different today. So I'm out at this little pond here and we'll see what we can make happen. Stay tuned. Okay, I went back to the bobber split shot and worm. Let's see if we have any better luck with any bigger fish over here. There we go. That is an eater. That is an eater for sure. I'm keeping that. That is more than big enough to eat. He's going to go in the bucket. like about two more of those and that would be perfect there we go that's something better that is something better there, that's another keeper size gill. In my opinion, big enough. I mean, it's the size of my hand almost. I'll get a little bit of meat off of that. Let's see if we can get one more. If we can get one more like that, Call it a day. Oop, it's getting hit. There we go. Oh, that one's too small. Not bad though. Just too small to eat. I think that'll make it one more shot. They're all wet. That one felt bigger. It just had more fight in them, I guess. Take it. Come on, please be a good gill. Please be a good gill. Yup, there we go. We've got three decent sized bluegill. Big enough to eat, in my opinion. Well guys, that took entirely too long to just catch three, to just catch three even remotely eater sized bluegill but we got them. All right guys, made it home. Uh, had these guys sitting on ice for a few hours. 
I'm gonna get them cleaned up and I'm gonna make some beer battered uh, fish. So stay tuned. All right, I'm just gonna show you with one of them how I like to clean them. Get that knife out of there. Got a nice fillet knife, just a Kershaw uh, Bass Pro or something, I don't know. I have a little cool water running. And, I don't know. So the way I like to do it is, some people will just cut all the way across, bury the knife in and go down. But I kind of like to go along the back and just get it off that rib cage instead of cutting it out right away. I think you get a little, little bit better fillet and there's not as much cleanup afterwards. But, gotta start the same, just go down the gill plate. I really need to sharpen this knife. And then, come up over uh, the backbone here, or the back dorsal fin. And just cut down that rib cage until you get to the end of it. When you get to the end of the rib cage, you can poke the knife all the way through. Come down to right about the tail fin. I don't cut it all the way off. And I'll come back up and just kind of slowly pick it up and, and work it off that rib cage. Just run the knife right along the ribs, and it'll come off. Then you can go down and get all that good meat off the belly, too. I just come back through where I went out on the bottom and that's you get a nice little chunk right there and you just peel it over and that way you can use since it's still attached you can just run your knife down in there lay it off the skin then there isn't really there isn't any uh rib bones to trim out you get a nice little uh nice little fillet of meat I'll stick them in some cold water while I finish filleting. But I'm gonna finish these up and then I'll get to cooking. All right, so we're gonna make the batter. Uh, we've got a little bit of flour, some beer, uh, pepper, and cayenne red pepper. So all you're doing is using the, the beer to make the batter and seasoning it to your choice. You can use any kind of seasoning you'd like, but uh, just pour it in slowly. And you just uh, want to make a bit of a batter out of it. Maybe a fork would have been a smarter choice for me. Too much beer but you can always add more flour and uh, more beer to your however you want it whether it's runny or you like it extra thick I don't know get it all mixed up pretty well make a mess on your counter while you're at it and you can just add some pepper However much you like, put in a little bit of red pepper, cayenne red pepper, not too much of that, but so you got some seasoning in there, we'll whisk that up together. Make sure you get all the chunks of flour round up have one for yourself because you did a good job of fishing 
or you keep telling yourself that anyways. Whatever you gotta do. All right, so the batter's made. Come over here to the stove, make more of a mess while you're at it. Get your little bit of fish out of the fridge. Little fillets. Fillets? Not too bad. And I don't know if this oil is ready. Uh, we'll see if we can just drop a little bit of. Yep. Yeah. That sounds good to me. So you're just gonna dip them in. Get them nice and coated. Let the excess run off. Oop. And set them down in your oil. It shouldn't take long. All right, I'm gonna get these uh, finished up and then we'll be back with a taste test. I'll see you guys in a minute. Crisping up nicely here. Smells good. Probably about done. I think I could have double dipped on the batter, maybe. Or it would have been maybe make it a little thicker next time. I think that's probably good. Dangerous. Out of my finger. All right, we're going to let these cool down a little bit. I like to kind of pat them a little bit on top. Those will soak up a little bit more of the oil so they're not too greasy. As you can see, let that sit there for a minute. Ooh, that looks good. How do you guys like to cook your fish? I've done the hot sauce. Everybody's done the hot sauce if you watch YouTube, Frank's and all that. I hadn't ever made beer batter before, so it looked really simple, and hopefully it tastes really good. Would you look at those? Oh, they're, they look tasty. All right. Beer batter. Oh, it's really good. Really flaky bluegill. I could have definitely added more cayenne pepper. Definitely could have added more pep cayenne pepper to this, but crispy, flaky, golden brown. That tastes amazing. Here, you try some. What do you think of that? That's really good. Well, next time we have some people over for a fish fry, we're gonna have to try to make some of it like this. Normally we just get the, I don't know, the fish fry seasoning batter stuff you can buy straight from Walmart or whatever, but this is really good, really simple, beer, flour, and whatever seasoning you wanna put in it. And I'm definitely gonna try this again. I'll see you guys in the next video.